Hello. Just um, about to uh, take apart my 1970s Lafayette, Lafayette LR100 receiver just for cleaning. Just uh, waiting for the deoxit to arrive. Um, it's being mailed. I bought it from Amazon for about $15. And uh, so I figure I'll just see what's going on inside here. As you can see, this is, must be the antenna. Oof, look at that. It's cracked. This is a little crooked. If you look here, it's for the uh, right speaker. No, you can't see it. Some of the wires are exposed. On the end of the, uh, the end looks pretty good. This is where you connect the speakers. This end connects to the speakers. And uh, look here. This thing has three external fuses. Look at that. This one for the left speaker. Those contacts look okay. But on the end where you connect the speakers. Oh, wait a minute. Parts, parts of this wire is like brown. This part looks okay, but the clamp is missing on this end. I see a problem. Don't know if it's too big of a problem. It didn't affect too much of the quality of the sound while I was using it. When I first picked this up, I, did, I didn't think about really uh, looking over this thing. I just, uh, all I did was just plug it in just to make sure it, was, it worked. That's all I did. And, um, so, why not take off this housing? tiny screw easy to lose very important don't I can't lose those Hopefully, there we go. here and there we go the housing is off there's the transformer ETP7 there's all the caps I'm glad this is a separate piece Everything appears to look to be looking fine. Tuning.
Oh look, there is a light. There is a light for this here. It's burned out, actually. Well, doesn't look like there's um, hardly any access to that bulb, if there is a bulb. Looks like there is. But this is what the inside of this uh, receiver looks like. Except everything's all dusty. I'm, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna vacuum this all out. But wait a minute. Actually, I can probably deoxi deoxidize this. But these knobs, I have to, uh, I have to access it from the bottom. Well, I'll give you an update. I'll show you what's, uh, on the bottom here, so stay tuned.